we will obtain some shortcut equations for use in solving problems that involve two-dimensional projectile motion. In obtaining these equations, we choose a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis with positive y upwards so that the downward acceleration due to gravity is a equal minus g equals minus 9.8 meters per second squared. For the motion in the x direction, the equation x equals x0 plus v sub x t plus 1 half a sub x t squared reduces to x equals v sub x t because there is no acceleration in the x direction and we place the origin of the coordinate system such that x sub 0 equals 0. The whole story in the x direction is x equals v sub x multiplied by t. The projectile is launched at angle theta 0 so initial velocity vector is v equals v sub x i hat plus v sub y zero j hat equals v zero cosine of theta zero i hat plus v zero sine of theta zero j hat. We begin with the following four equations, which we've been using already. We next use the x motion to eliminate time and obtain the parabolic relation between x and y. From equation one, we take t and put it into these two spots of equation 2 to get this equation. Now substitute v sub x equals v0 cosine theta 0 in these two spots and v sub y0 equals v0 sine theta 0 to get this equation. But this sine over cosine is a tan and the two v0's cancel. We set a equal to minus g and get the parabolic equation. y equals y0 plus x tan theta 0 minus gx squared over 2v0 squared cosine squared theta 0. This equation is quadratic in x and can be used to solve for x when all other quantities are known. For example, a marble rolls off a 3.2 meter high rooftop that is slanted downward at an angle of theta 0 equals 55 degrees. In the equation, we take theta 0 equal minus 55 degrees, which is the same thing as plus 305 degrees. If the initial velocity of the marble is v0 equals 4.3 meters per second, how far will the marble land from the edge of the rooftop? Place the origin at the ground directly below the launch point. With y equals 0 and y sub 0 equal 3.2 meters, the parabolic projectile equation gives 0 equal 3.2 minus 1.43x minus 0.806x squared with positive root x equal 1.3 meters. What is the duration of the flight? From x equals v sub x t equals v zero t cosine theta zero, we get t equals 0 0.53 seconds. Solving the parabolic equation for v zero gives the initial velocity equation. For example, here is a skateboarder in Bogota. This person lands at the ground, so we have y equals zero. The initial launch height, y sub zero equals 1.2 meters. The initial launch angle, theta sub zero equals 20 degrees. And the horizontal distance traveled, x equals 2.5 meters. The initial velocity equation, 6 gives us v sub 0 equals 4 meters per second. What was the duration of the flight? From the x motion, we get t equals 0 0.7 seconds. In the next example, here's the motion of a skier. We estimate a launch angle of 20 degrees, a horizontal range of 4 meters, and a vertical drop of 2 meters. 
Equation 6 gives a launch velocity 5 meters per second. What was the duration of the flight? The X motion gives us 0 0.85 seconds. The center of mass of the skier follows a parabolic path. The spin of the skater has no effect on the XY motion. This will be a topic in the chapter on rotational motion. In the next example, a baseball is batted from a position one meter above the ground and initially moves at a launch angle of 45 degrees. With what speed must the ball begin if it is to pass over a fence that is 2.5 meters high and a distance x equal 110 meters away? We put the origin of the coordinate system at the ground below the launched ball. We have x equal 110 meters, the initial height y sub 0 equal 1 meter, the final height y equal 2.5 meters, and theta sub 0 equal 45 degrees. Equation 6 gives v sub 0 equals 33 meters per second. How many seconds elapse during the motion? From the x motion, we get t equals 4.7 seconds. The parabolic relation between x and y was equation 5. When replacing 1 over cosine squared with 1 plus tan squared, this becomes the launch angle equation, equation 8. This is quadratic in tan theta and can be used to solve for the launch angle theta sub 0. For example, a basketball is launched with a velocity of 9.7 meters per second at angle theta 0 from a height of 3 meters. What are the two launch angles that will land the ball in the hoop that is 3.3 meters above the ground and 7 meters away? Putting in the numbers, numerical software gives the two roots for tan theta 0. And then we get theta sub 0 equals 66 degrees and 26.5 degrees. Here is equation 5, the parabolic relation between x and y. For a horizontal launch, theta naught equals 0. When theta equals 0, the cosine is 1 and the tangent is 0. And equation 5 becomes equation 7, the horizontal launch equation. In this example, a marble rolls off a table and onto the floor. Initially, the marble has only an x component of its velocity. The y component of velocity is zero. A marble is launched horizontally at a speed of v naught equal five meters per second off a tabletop that is 1.3 meters above the ground. We have theta sub zero equals zero. The initial height y sub zero is 1.3 meters and the final height is y equals zero. Where does the marble land? Equation 7 gives x equal 2.6 meters. What was the duration of the flight? From the x motion we get t equals 0 0.53 seconds. Starting with equation 5, the parabolic relation between x and y, we next obtain the range equation which describes projectile motion that begins and ends at the same height. With y equals y0, these two cancel, and equation 5 becomes this. But tan theta is a sine over a cosine, so we get this equation. A factor of x cancels in the numerators, and a factor of cosine theta cancels in the denominators. We move the remaining cosine from the denominator of this term to the numerator of this term. We use the trig identity 2 cosine theta sine theta equals sine 2 theta. Rename the distance x to r, which is said to be the horizontal range, and obtain the range equation. We keep this string of equal signs handy for use in various homework problems. The range equation is normally stated as r equals v0 squared sine 2 theta over g. 
The horizontal distance traveled is also the x component of velocity multiplied by time. If we choose to leave sine 2 theta as it was, then we have this version. The range equation applies only when the motion begins and ends at the same height. We set y equal y0 and obtained equation 9. We see that the range is maximum when sine 2 theta equals 0, which happens when theta is 45 degrees. When solving a homework problem involving projectile motion, you should first decide whether or not motion begins and ends at the same height. If it does, then use the range equation. Otherwise, try to use the parabolic projectile equation or one of its variants. Lastly, resort to setting up the set of 5 out of 8 givens. We'll use this equation through the year. You'll often replace g with the y component of acceleration.